Hi guys, I am Min, CEO of Razer, founder of uh, Razer, and it's good to be here, you know, meeting up with uh, you guys at uh, Laoyat. That's how I say it, right? Laoyat. Yeah, that's true. Great. Good. So today what we have here at Computex 2013, um, we've got a couple of new products that we're sharing with um, our friends out here. Um, the first of which would be the Razer Blade Pro. Now, many of you guys will be familiar with the Razer Blade Pro as the previous iterations of the Razer Blade um, back in 2011 and 2012. What we've done since um, uh, the last iteration is that we've done a huge amount of improvements to the product, to the third generation itself. What have we done? Well, first up, we have improved the uh, CPU from the previous Ivy Bridge 35 watt uh, CPU to a 47 watt uh, CPU uh, over here, Haswell. Um, essentially, what else we have improved would also be the GPU from a GTX 660 from the previous iteration to a GTX uh, 765M. And we've also upgraded um, the battery capacity of the uh, Razer Blade Pro from 60 watt hours to 74 watt hours. That's about a 25% increase in battery uh, capacity. Um, and what's all that for? Essentially, we've realized that it's not just hardcore gamers that are purchasing the Razer Blade Pro, but we're also seeing professionals like video editors, um, uh, uh, Photoshop uh, users or, or, or uh, creative professionals, they're all using the Razer Blade Pro as their own mobile kind of workstation of sorts. So we've called it the Razer Blade Pro, um, and we've also increased uh, the number of applications for the Switchblade UI, and you guys will remember the Switchblade UI from the previous iteration line of um, applications for uh, Adobe Premiere, uh, Photoshop, Maya, GIMP, uh, and many more. We've also got all the other game-specific applications like for Battlefield 3, Team Fortress 2, uh, Counter-Strike. It's all available for the Switchblade uh, user interface. So there you have it. Essentially, improved performance uh, in terms of the uh, CPU to uh, the latest Haswell uh, Core i7 quad-core CPU. It's got a GTX 765M. It's an incredible GPU. It's one of the most powerful in the world. Improved battery uh, life. Uh, additional new Switchblade applications, and this is the all-new 17-inch Razorblade Pro. All right, so this is the Razorblade Pro, and you know we've had so much feedback in the past couple of years from gamers that said, "Great, we love the Razorblade Pro. It's got a beautiful 17-inch screen, but we're really looking for something um, that has a smaller footprint." And these are for the gamers, uh, and we we go to all the forums all the time. I go to your forum. Uh, often just to see what's going on and, and see you know the feedback and we've got all that feedback and they said we wanted something um, with a smaller footprint so what we did was we looked at all the 14 inch gaming laptops out there and they tend to be about one and a half inches thick and they they're really kind of heavy and we said okay that's we like the performance we like the screen size but it's a little heavy for us so we said no that's not what we want we looked at the other ultra-thin ultra books or the MacBook Airs and stuff like that. We really like the form factor, but the problem is they don't run PC games, or it's not powerful enough to run PC games. So what we did was we took the best, we took the best of each of them. We took the thin and light form factors of the MacBook Air and the ultra books and combined it with the performance of a really powerful gaming laptop. And if you think about it, the gaming laptop, the 14 inches at that point of time, the highest and most powerful were the GT class for the NVIDIA GT class. We wanted that same performance, but even better. So super thin and light, super powerful. This is a category that has not existed till today. This is the new, the all new Razer Blade. It's 14 inches. It's super, super thin. This is 16.8 millimeters and it's incredibly, incredibly light. Four pounds, 16.8 millimeters. This blows the ultra book specification out of the water. Now it's not just super thin and light, but I'm just gonna kind of take you through, just look at the curves over here. It's also incredibly, incredibly powerful. This is running a quad core i7 Haswell CPU. This is running the same GPU that is in the Razer Blade Pro, the GTX, it's not a GT class, this is a GTX X for Extreme, GTX 765M GPU. It's incredibly powerful. It's gonna run Crisis 3 like butter. It's gonna run all the latest PC games out of the box. 
the power of an incredibly powerful gaming laptop, the thin and light form factor of an ultra thin um, ultra book or, or MacBook Air alike. This is the new Razer Blade 14 inch. It's got a beautiful screen. Now, many people have asked, what's the resolution for the screen? Now, this is a 14 inch, 1600 by 900. Now, why not a full HD? Essentially, this is the best screen available to date. There is nothing, you know, which has a, a higher resolution in a 14 inch form factor at this point of time. And we've intentionally used this. It's got a full backlit keyboard. You know, it, not only have we got this in a super thin form factor, we've got a full backlit keyboard in this. It's got a beautiful trackpad that we've optimized it just for gaming. Dual stereo um, uh, speakers. And what we've done is, uh, another question would be, how have we managed the thermals on this? With increased performance, with increased power, there's al always the increased thermals. And that's why gaming laptops have always been really, really thick. What we've done is we've got a proprietary cooling system, which is back here, which is custom made and bespoke, designed by the thermal engineers at Razer, that kind of suck in cold air, they, they blow it out. We've also got localized heating. What does that localized heating mean? We make sure that the surfaces that you generally touch as a gamer over here and on the bottom, they all remain cool to touch, even at the highest, highest performance. The areas that you tend not to touch during gameplay, like the areas over here. Now, this gets really, really warm, but that's how we've done it from a design perspective. We make sure that we get the right areas to, to be cool to touch and the areas that you don't touch to be hot. And that's how we've actually done a really aggressive way of designing the new razor blade um, 14 inch all right so this is it the world's thinnest gaming laptop by a mile it's the thinnest and most powerful gaming laptop and it's beautiful the razor blade 14 inch there we go all aluminum it's incredibly beautiful and that's it